Acidic liquid, I already have that. And slime mold, I don't have that. And all I need to do is uh, make them. So, uh, yeah. I'm all set. Yeah, let's go ahead and deliver uh, uh, all of these to this creepy uh, old guy. Deliver ingredients. Looks like you've brought everything I asked for. Uh, at least I remember <laughs> what he sounded. What he sounded like. I assume this is how he sounded like. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what kind of elixir comes from such a bizarre set of ingredients. I can't uh, stop thinking about it uh, either. A frog extract? And flowers? And Libra? Well, I can't tell I can't tell you myself, but how about this? I'll get to work making it right away and when I've, when I'm done, you can deliver it to my client yourselves. Oh, that works. That's true. You don't have to worry about your client's privacy if the answer comes uh, from the client directly. That seems an acceptable co compromise indeed. Um, well, the damage has already been done, though. He's the client. And that's why you came all this way to deliver the elixir to me? I don't know why you're uh, so interested. Hey, it's on our nature to be curious. So, what's it for? Well, if you must know, it's an anti-aging uh, elixir. That's not possible. What? Only Karna and Kalilika? Is there a problem uh, with that? I don't see what's so strange about uh, wanting to stay young. You look young. You just look ugly. You don't have your eyebrows. Well, that's true, but... um, Forgive me for asking, but how old are you? Uh, been a while since uh, I've uh, thought about it, but probably somewhere around 92? No motherfucking way. <laughs> With the piano cue too? Only Karen and Kalilika are, impre are impressed? What? Ah, shush. All your shouting is giving me a headache. <laughs> It was worth uh, gathering the ingredients uh, just to see your uh, just to see your reactions. No, I think you're enjoying uh, this a little too much, Frida. I mean, Frida and Doran already knew the answer, huh? <laughs> I don't think you were expecting that answer, were you? Here's your reward. Picks up three life elixirs. Uh, they, these are uh, permanent HP increase, by the way, viewers. So, good reward. Power elixir, too. Guard elixir. I feel exhausted. Yeah, it's like this whole ordeal has taken a few years of my life. It, it really didn't. That was easy for me to make. I just needed to... We did well. But completed the quest, secret synthesis. Yeah, I'll... No, I just needed to look uh, of uh, what I'm missing. That's, uh, I don't know, just convert them. Oh, uh, but yeah, we got a, we got a lot of good stuff from this. Uh, permanent stats increase. Uh, increases strength here and defense with guard elixir and power elixir. Holy hell. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good, let's talk to him. Vanjo might look tough, but he cares a lot about appearances. In the end, I suppose that led to a fun mystery for you to solve, so it all worked out, didn't it? Not me too, huh? 19 motherfucking two. All right, we managed to finish the uh, quests in, well, except for one that I'm gonna leave it for last. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into uh, Silray. Yeah, we're gonna talk to a few people before... Uh, I might actually venture through and try and finish the quest. There are two uh, uh, time-sensitive quests that I need to finish first viewers. You know one of them. You know one of them is gonna be... It's gonna be this uh, pervy little brat. This jailbait. <laughs> 
Are you here for... <laughs> Why did I laugh? Like, uh, she sounded like an old creep. <laughs> Are you here uh, for the usual? Slink away. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Uh, you're touching these boobs, and you're call her. You're calling her sir. Call me ma'am. Oh, you're still not used to to this, are you? Well, it's so much fun. Come and let me tickle you again sometime. Again, sorry, only once per visit. We operate by uh, market rules around here. <laughs> oh, pff. You'll have to come back again some other time. Market rules? What is this little kid is about? Holy hell. Uh, and yes, as you guess, viewers, mega weapon tests. Serio again with, uh, with yet another uh, test. An amazing mega weapon. I made a few mega weapons and I'd like someone to test them in an actual combat situations for me. If there's anyone who can use a mace or hellbred, oh, if it's gonna be a weapon for uh, for uh, for Frida, then uh, I'm gonna give it to her. If there's anyone who can use a mace or hellbred and is uh, up for helping me out, please come to the smithy. Serio advanced blacksmith. It was uh, amateur, then intermediate, and now advanced. I don't know about that. Yeah, so yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and. And finish this quest uh, before talking to people. Maybe we shouldn't leave it our last. Leave it last. Mm. I'm gonna leave it for last. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it for last. I think it's safe to assume the Roman soldiers who passed by the village have reached the primeval lands by now. I have mixed feelings about the fact that outsiders discovered the secrets. Uh, of the uh, primeval lands before we could ourselves. Oh, because you guys are whack. Uh, is, is, uh, simply it. Oh, Raynal, my sweet Raynal. Who the hell is Raynal? How should I torment him today? There are so many possibilities. What? What the hell are you talking about? Ducky, ducky, ducky. Uh, the way ducks uh, wave their butts from side to side as they walk is really cute. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Is that how it goes? Is that how a song goes? <laughs> Kindly parent. Yeah, uh, run away with your asses. Someone's uh, trying to, uh, you know, I don't know. Someone uh, aiming uh, to do something with them. It's been a while since I since I ate uh, duck meat. Uh, gonna be honest with you, <laughs> viewers. Uh, not that I not it's t it tastes anything. Good. Not that it tastes anything uh, fancy or anything. It's it's okay. It's okay. Lusty. Oh, so he uses his uh, whip, whipped feet to push uh, his way through water. Huh, such a cheeky little thing. Whipped. What would you describe his uh, legs as webbed? As I said to Assad, the Romans seems to be a very varied bunch. Though some have been friendly, a group of masked soldiers passed by the village recently, raising some uh, concern. We will need to remain vigilant. Yeah, nothing new. Uh, I th no, no, this is uh, this was new, but uh, uh, the situation hasn't changed pretty much. The primeval lands, a region of great mystery, untouched by those. Of us who don't belong for hundreds of years. The path may be open, but I do not seek to walk it. Okay, weirdo. What? Where the hell are they? Uh, maybe they went hunting? Probably. 
of the adults, uh, adult spiders are out uh, fishing at the moment. So I'm taking uh, this chance to clean the place. I wish there was uh, some sort of an expression of the newer characters of the older towns uh, that uh, that we frequent. But, uh, like Frida's, uh, this is for, for Frida's first time in uh, most of these towns. Uh, Would have uh, been uh, cool to to hear her, uh, uh, her, you know, you know, to hear uh, her opinions and. Ex uh, Expression about uh, this place. I do not want to talk to the spreads. Fuck you. <laughs> Why do you have to write characters like that? Let them speak English. It's not cute. It's not cute. You thought uh, Sean Connery uh, was cute when he was uh, saying all of that? He wasn't cute. Uh, Cecily may have a lot of uh, to learn about Sparta care, but her uh, devotion to the job is admirable. Sparta care sounds extremely funny to say. <laughs> Sparta, this is Sparta care. Such, uh, she's such a good girl. I'm so proud to have her as my daughter. And way to go, Pamela Anderson. I think everyone is uh, getting used to life in Silray without Ozma. <laughs> the guy is over here and he's hearing you. It can be difficult to change your ways, but if uh, change uh, leads to growth and uh, maturation, well, that is definitely a word that you don't hear a lot. Maturation. It can only be a good thing. Yeah, good riddance uh, to Ozma, the little brat. Poor Ozma. Not a good, uh, not a good character to play as. Uh, and nobody wants to. Nobody wants to. Uh, you know, nobody wants him in the in the lore too. It hasn't been easy here lately, but we get by. Our troubles uh, aren't yet over though. From the looks of it, what's happening on the other side? What's happening on the other side of the river? I get the shivers just thinking about it. It's not how you shiver, have a nice day. I know, but it sounded funny. I wonder if there are any Pickards in the primeval lands. I don't think we've seen any so far. I'd like to go and see them if there are. Maybe we'll encounter golden Pickards though. I wonder if uh, Gaza went across the river to those primeval lands uh, people keep talking about. He did. What if he doesn't come back? He probably won't. And uh, yeah, that's it uh, for talking to everyone. This is Gazak's uh, place and he's definitely... And he is not here. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, finish the uh, last timed quest for this. Yeah, of course, if I'm gonna get a weapon for Frida, I'm gonna give it to her. Oh, I need to talk to her father, too. Hey there. I made a couple of really mind-blowing new weapons I need uh, testing. Fancy lending me a hand? Exit. Really? Thanks. I suppose it's our turn now. <laughs> I've heard uh, the weapons here are quite noteworthy. Excellent. I'm honored to hear it. Because uh, this is the third time you've helped me. I'll spare you uh, all the details. This time, you've got to choose between an ultimate mace or an incredible hilbert. Which would you rather test? I'm sure as heck not choosing. Uh, we'll uh, differ judgment to you, Adol. Uh, as much as I want uh, to see Kalilika suffer, I'm gonna give uh, the better weapon to uh, <laughs> to, to Frida. All right, here you go. Uh, picked up incredibly icy Helbert. Oh, the freezing effect. If uh, I wonder if I can counter the freezing effect by equipping something that uh, that prevent uh, freeze. 
the Frieza status ailment, I wonder. This time I want uh, whoever equips this to defeat a five. Madogra Sliffs. Not a very elegant name is... Uh, not a very... Uh, not a very elegant name is that. If only they'd uh, consulted me, you know? Seems like they're gonna be tough, too. I've been reading up on them, and they sound pretty mean. No idea what they look like, or where to find them, though. I only know that they're uh, ferocious and deadly, and I want their blood on my steel. Holy. And well, you're the ones who crossed over into the primeval land, so I'm sure you'll be able to find them somewhere or another. It's a flock. Well, I guess they're gonna be in the primeval land. What's their name again? Maybe I've already met them. Maybe I've already met them. Maybe they're actually gonna be pointed. Uh, they're gonna be. Uh, uh, they're, go they're gonna appear in. Uh, in the map? No. This is not it. This is uh, the quest for the. Uh, for the, uh, whatchamacallit. 170, holy. Isn't it weaker? I think there is a weapon that I can buy in Sil- in, uh, in Kasnan is actually gonna be much better. I gotta, it gonna... It's gonna give me, uh, whatchamacallit. Like, uh... 15, uh, extra damage. Or was it 5? It was probably five. Do I have prevents freezing? I might actually try and uh, equip her with this uh, when I try and find uh, the uh, the monsters. What the hell? What's uh, their name? My dogras lifts. This guy is gonna refine. Oh wait, this guy is gonna make emeralds for me, from green stones, and green stones, I think green stones are actually rare. He can make amethyst, too, an onyx. I haven't found, uh, starlight stone. Come on, I don't think I've, ex yeah, like, I've seen this. It's pretty cool, but I don't know if uh, purple stones and or whatever are actually gonna be rare, or maybe I can actually exchange them or something. I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot. Maybe uh, there's gonna be a a day where I'm gonna just you know sit down and actually just check uh, some of the uh, uh, accessory that I can equip and see how I can make them if if it's possible. Uh, we'll see about uh, that. What do you have, uh, to say to me? Siri is getting a whole lot better lately. Her naming sense is still lacking, but, uh, eh. No big deal. It is not that big of a deal, indeedy. Uh... There's a, uh, uh, I haven't talked to this guy. So, let's go ahead and talk to him. I wonder if the fact that we haven't heard anything from those Romans who passed through, uh... Who passed through means they have made it to the primeval lands. Maybe they have something to do with the sudden disappearance of the mists from the opposite shore? Hey, that means that you guys should thank them, right? All righty, viewers. Last stop before... Well, last stop before I actually venture through... Uh, before I actually go to that quest over here about killing uh, some enemies. I'm gonna go uh, around here and talk to people. Uh, and after that... Uh, uh, my grinding session might actually start. It's been uh, I've been promising this for a few days now. <laughs> I still haven't started this grinding session.
Alrighty, viewers. <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and uh, continue with our playthrough. This should be uh, the last place before we do anything. I actually uh, kind of want to see. Uh, just want to check if uh, there are any uh, uh, side quests that I can that I can do here. Uh, signature collector, Ethan. He will give me two Silsetum flowers. I think these are unique and rare. There are a few pages in my favorite notebook that I just can't seem to be able to fill. Would, so would someone be willing to help me fill them? My house is to the left of the mayor's mansion. Ethan. I think I remember him. Uh, oh, we don't have a... Uh... A map for the uh... yeah yeah it's uh... it's marked on the map over here so yeah let's go uh, let me go ahead and talk to everyone here so certain army soldier I've been ordered not to let any explorers from Kasnan pass here From Kasnan? Well, I guess uh, we don't have uh, any authority over over the over the people from uh, from uh, Kamudu and Silray. Even though, still, not necessarily that everyone that's coming from Kasnan is gonna be a a citizen of uh, Rom or or under whoever these guys uh, are, uh, whoever uh, under these guys are. You and your companions are the only exceptions, but do try to avoid being noticed uh, if you should come and or go through this checkpoint. Uh, not my problem. It sure seems a lot more, uh, boisterous around here lately. Boisterous? What with the two explorers and the uh, Romans uh, showing up? Two explorers? It's really forcing us to think about the future of this town. Especially the fact that your, you know, your god is, uh, you know, wants to kill you. Me and Joel are in love. Oh boy, he confessed to me uh, the other day. Liar. That's a lie. Joel in, uh, is in love uh, with me. He told me himself the other day. Or maybe he did. Confess, Joel. Uh, um, uh, well... Damn, was that? <laughs> Is this the case? God... Damn! This time really has uh, changed lately. I'll still have expect to wake up and find it was all a dream. I can understand that. Lord Eldeal, I pray that you can rest peacefully today. This is Mariana. The Romans, uh, the Roman forces stationed here s seems to be genuine, well-meaning people. I suppose that's a result of uh, Triple G's uh, virtuous nature. Triple G. Three U G U net. I was about to say a 3G unit, but it doesn't sound right. I gotta be honest, this statue of uh, Eldiel is actually cool. I like it. Oh. <laughs> What's with the sweat coming out of him? Mm, looks like drinking alcohol is uh, the only source of pleasure around here. Damn. Although, since we're uh, uh, bothering the locals uh, just with our uh, mere presence, I guess I shouldn't be thinking such selfish thoughts. I've got to take the job, uh, this job uh, very seriously. I'm representing Rom, after all. Since we're bothering the locals just with our mere presence, I guess I shouldn't be thinking too hard about my leisure time. I've got to take this job very seriously. I'm uh, representing Rom, after all. He says, in tear, this should be her house, I believe. 
and she is not here. Uh, yeah, I noticed the, uh, <laughs> the, um, the mouse pointer. Sorry about that. Uh, that's the mayor. Yeah, something to, to say. Greetings, Kalilika, Adol. Do you have something to report? I'm afraid so. Kalilika told Aaron about everything that had uh, transpired in Danan. I see, so that's what happened to Lord Eldil. Uh, and uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Mask of the Sun, too. That's for Lisa. Um, Grandfather, did you know about Lisa? Uh, that she was uh, a descendant of King uh, LaFance? Yes, I did. But that was all I knew. You didn't know about the uh, Galbaland or uh, her summon? It doesn't sound like you have uh, the time to be standing here talking to me. Please continue to support Lisa as best as you can, Adol. And Kalilika as well. Uh, oh, fuck Lisa. I'm not gonna support her. She's on her own. I'm ashamed that I must depend on you for this matter. But you truly are our only hope. Damn. You guys are useless. Grandfather. Don't worry. Leave it to us. The situation seems to be getting more serious by the day. Please take care of... Take care, all of you. Take care. Now. Yes, another... Uh, this is another... Uh, Seinfeld reference. I wonder what we should do... Uh, with those two explorers. Who are you talking about? What two explorers? Now that they know of this uh, town's existence, we can't just let them go. Uh, execute them. The two explorers who managed to get here through the underground ruins have been detained in a room uh, on the second floor. Be careful not to let them out. Alright, let's go ahead and check them out. Is it gonna be a rabbit? The door is locked, but voices can be heard from uh, within the room. Female voice. Come on, why did they uh, lock us in here? The women have no right to treat us to treat us like that. Calm down, rabbit. Rabbit. Yeah, <laughs> it's rabbit. And the other guy. Calm down. How about you, rile up instead. <laughs> Stop wasting time trying to calm me down and start focusing on thinking of uh, of a way to get us out of here but what if you've got a problem then we can just go our separate ways right here and now uh, I don't think you have the ability to do that fine fine I'm thinking I'm thinking they seems to be discussing methods of escaping That's why I, uh, that's, uh, this is something that I appreciate about the game, by the way, viewers. This is something that I said before, of course. Uh, uh, about why I like actually going back and forth in, in towns in this game. Because, uh, they always, uh, uh, they always offer something new, something entertaining. Make the world, uh, living, uh, like a... Like a, a living, breathing world, and actually a character, you know, you know, uh, characters uh, d actually develop. Not only your uh, own character that you control, the other characters around you, which uh, I like a lot. I wonder what's going on, uh, going to happen to this town now. Though I'm actually more worried about Lord Eldil, since he still seems to be suffering from that illness. There are so many things to worry about at the moment. I can barely get to sleep at night. Barely? Are you sure about that? Hmm. Let's get 
go ahead and talk to these people. Just uh, remembering my great uncle's skill as a craftsman makes me swoon. If he were uh, slimmer, I'd probably have fallen for him. Family or no? What? Great uncle? He's your great uh, He's your. <laughs> Motherfucking Japan? He's always been a curious one, ever since he was younger. I'm sure he's uh, been through a lot since leaving here, but I was so glad to, to see him alive and well. What the fuck, Japan? And she's a little girl! Why would a little girl be thinking of things like that? Good question. <laughs> yeah, I know! Well, let me talk to this first. It seems uh, two explorers have arrived from Kasnan. I wonder what the Romans will do with them. Good question. But we can't have those two uh, taking information about Highland away with them. Execute them. Kill them all. More visitors arrived here. It doesn't seem like uh, this town's uh, ever going to go back to the way it used to be. This is a uh, dumb Cordelia. Those explorers must have had a hard time coming this far. And really, they shouldn't have uh, even bothered. Not gonna get them much. Right, Mr. Tittles? <coughs> That's right! Yeah, I know that. Uh, that's a cat. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I should talk to you. Two explorers arrived here a little a while ago. We took them into custody right away, but it was definitely a shock. Supposedly, they came through the underground ruins, but I don't know how they managed to get through our patrols. Yeah, that's uh, the, so Rabbit and uh, her companions. Uh, her companion was the one that managed to slip away from the people that was guarding the uh, underground ruins. I was expecting the Romans uh, to be all arrogant and full of themselves, but they are actually quite polite. They, g they give off a different impression entirely from uh, those other soldiers. The masked ones, whatever they uh, called them, th uh, whatever they call called themselves. Yeah, I can, I can, I can speak. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. I was expect expecting blah blah blah. Well, it is a little bit late here, so... <laughs> it is a little bit late, uh... It's, uh... I'm actually trying to squeeze uh, some playtime before I go to sleep. It's already midnight, so... Uh, I can... I can play for, like, uh... Like, ten minutes, maybe fifteen minutes more. With all the, that's happened lately, there's uh, a little point... There's a little point uh, in keeping an eye on the river anymore. All these explorers knocking on our doors. I just hope they don't cause any trouble. Including uh, including us. And there must be pretty skilled explorer to, uh, explorers to evade the Roman uh, and make it this far. I don't think so. Or maybe the Romans are just extremely stupid. Either way, it's uh, the talk of the town. <laughs> of how stupid the Romans are? Yeah, do that, and they're, uh, you know, we're gonna use, start using their weapons on you. A couple of strange-looking explorers uh, came by here a while ago. They're locked up in the mayor's mansion at the moment. Ah, this sound really is relaxing. I miss the bustle of, uh, of Rom a little, a little, but I think I might actually be better suited to a place like this. Uh, the more... Uh, like, I used to live in a in a really big city, viewers. Eight million that used to live uh, in that city. Even, like, uh, th this is an old... Uh, uh, this is a, this is an old uh, uh, estimate of how... Uh, the population of that uh, city, but... Uh, I like that city, but uh, the fact that it's actually busy and big... 
and there's a you waste a lot of time actually uh, through uh, you know through uh, you know uh, just to commute uh, from uh, from one way to other and I I, d uh, I do have uh, when I li used to live there I did have my own car uh, but uh, like it takes like uh, like uh, around an hour especially in uh, in in uh, in uh, like in uh, during rush hour, just to go uh, to whatever I want to go, especially you know go coming uh, going and coming back from work. So that's one big uh, big uh, uh, like big negative of actually living there. Like you waste a lot of time just to uh, you know trying to go to uh, whatever you uh, want to go. Especially since I actually lived... Uh, I had a family. Well, uh, I had, like, a, a family. They were... Uh, they were my grandparents, pretty much. And I uh, tried to visit them as much as possible. But they they used to live... Uh, way... Uh, way... Uh, far away from me. So, it was... Uh, it was really... Like, this is something that I didn't like, living there. But uh, then, of course, I lived there for probably six years, approximately. Uh, approximately six years, and uh, and when I, uh, you know, when I came back to uh, to uh, to uh, to where I live here, yeah, where, this is where I lived, and this is where I was born. And uh, yeah, I b notice how like living like there's a lot of aspect and just it's not because just it's a big town and and it's a it's big and it's, there's a lot of people and there's a lot of traffic and whatnot. There's like uh, there's uh, not a lot of opportunities because there's a lot of people and everyone's trying to do uh, uh, their thing. And uh, you know, in my line of work or the line of work that I'm in, it's gonna be really hard. For me to do uh, what I'm doing now in that uh, city, that's for sure. So this is something that I why I appreciate actually living here. Not to mention that this uh, this city that I live, uh, like there's like uh, maybe around four uh, four hundred thousand people, <laughs> unlike uh, eight million. Holy. And even for uh, four hundred thousand is a is a is an old. Uh, it's an old uh, population count. I don't know if it's a. It's probably gonna be much, much. Uh, uh, there's a. There's a, a lot of people that live here actually. Much, much uh, more than 400. So yeah. Well, I. Uh, so uh, in a sense, I I prefer living here than living there. Even though I do sometimes miss living in that uh, other city. All the armored soldiers in town are surprisingly nice. They're not much like uh, the Romans uh, we heard about in class. In class? You guys were studying the Romans? Uh, I didn't notice this portrait here. This looks interesting. Like, is that a sun? What I see is some sort of a castle. Is this gonna be a reference? What about this one? Oh, what about this one? Uh, well, this one is not interesting. The one uh, over here. The one to the left side of the screen. Uh, but this one. This one is interesting. This one is uh, interesting. Stella! Even in times like these, there's still work to do. I think I'll try to get uh, a bit more done before t taking a break. What is my line of work, you guys are asking? Uh, uh, I am... Uh, I'm a businessman. <laughs> I am a business a businessman. Do own my own uh, business and property. What the hell is this thing? 
Mishi? The hell is this? Whoa. What could it be? What the hell is this? What the hell is this shit? The fuck is this sh is this cat? So <laughs> what was that? It might have been a creature called Mishi. I've heard of it to, uh, once before. It is supposed to be extremely shy, always appearing in weird places. It brings good luck to those who find it. Is this some sort of a side quest? I don't think it's gonna be missable since I don't have it listed here. But I, I've never, uh, like, uh, in, in the listed uh, qu quests, maybe this is something that I'm gonna find later. Before the end of the game. But I have no idea about... This thing is actually gonna be a side quest. It's, it's, it looks like it's gonna actually be a some sort of a side content. Uh, for the life of me, though, I can't remember where I heard about it. Either way, if we get a chance, it might be worth uh, trying to track uh, the little guy down. Uh, I'm gonna assume that there's gonna this is gonna be some sort of a side quest. Be <laughs> he Campbell. And that's the uh golden uh whatchamacallit? Uh golden pickard, which I can interact with uh, over here. Shining pickard. Not a gold one, it's a shining. Shining Shining Shining! Shining pickers have the ability to store gold in their bodies. Uh, okay. That's what g gives them uh, their sheen. But what factors uh, could possibly cause a picker to do such a thing? How did it even evolve that way? I've been trying to find the answer for years, but it remains as elusive as it was the day I started. Uh, we did see a, a, a gold pickard in uh, somewhere in, uh, in the earliest part of the game, actually. Uh, uh, it's probably around here somewhere, around this area somewhere. Or maybe around... It's one of these areas, uh, that's for sure, but... Uh, uh, we couldn't do any damage to it for some reason. Maybe it's just, you know... And it didn't attack us at all. It was it's just trying to escape. And it, it never actually left the area. So, so it's probably gonna be easy to kill it. Assuming that we had the... The, the necessary strength output, but uh, at the time uh, when we faced it, we didn't. Couldn't uh, make a dent! When the Kingdom of Silsetta was uh, at the height of its prosperity, it seems several other village uh, villages existed in the forest which no longer remain. Well, there were more villages? Although the Kingdom was uh, well governed on the whole, there were numerous conflicts between these villages. That's all we know. Interesting. The process of natural selection applies to nature as much as it applies to people. But in people, it breeds hatred and resentment. Whereas in nature, it doesn't. Hmm. No matter how much the times may change, that alone seems to be an eternal truth. I don't know if that's completely true, though. Because, uh... Because, uh... Viewers? Crows. I don't know if it's crows or ravens. 
But uh, if a pack of crows witness one of uh, one of uh, you know one of uh, their members or one of their flock uh, actually dies by the hand of some animal, of even uh, by the hand of a human, they actually uh, gets a, a sense of some sort of a vengeance. Uh, uh, so, so, some sort of a vendetta where they start actually uh, flying uh, flying around the uh, uh, the corpse and even fly uh, fly around where the uh, where the uh, uh, fly around to whoever uh, you know killed that bird uh, one of theirs and actually sometimes even attack uh, attack them not only that elephants uh, uh, they do have a memory of, uh, of the people, not only ele elephants, elephants and camels share the same aspect where uh, They actually remember those who uh, did them wrong as uh, as uh, with them as with the one that uh, did them uh, Did them, you know Did them uh, kindly so Yeah, I don't know if that's uh, completely true all right, so I guess we talked to everyone. Yeah, uh, we talked to everyone. So it's time for us to actually continue. Am I gonna accept the quest from a goddamn motherfucking kid? Let's talk to his father first. Oh, it's you, Adol. We got rid of your grave so uh, a, sh uh, a short while ago. Seemed like uh, bad luck to have something like that around, you know? Honestly, it's a real load of my mind uh, to have it gone. Actually, yeah, uh, before I actually do anything, I kind of want to... Want to go and check on, uh, on the grave for now. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Did they actually remove the grave? 